Why do we read poetry? Poetry is for pleasure. It's for literary appreciation. Because poetry is a reflection of human life and human emotions. All human beings have these emotions of joy, happiness, sadness, bitterness, jealousy, whatever. Uh, whatever these emotions may be, poet, poets capture these emotions and tell them, uh, uh, tell us, speak to us about these emotions that are a part of human life. Reading poetry makes us better human beings, at least this is what uh, people believe in. So it's a window onto the world, it's a window onto human emotions. So from, uh, in a few classes from now, we'll look at some poems and see how uh, poets interpret life because poems are an interpretation of poets' philosophy of life. Poets have a message to convey to us. All this gets expressed in poems. There are many uh, poets. Um, obviously, we cannot look at all their works, but let us try and see some of the, um, the works of very great poets, renowned poets. Today, we'll talk about Macefield. He's a very famous poet, and Macefield is known for his very simple language, but, uh, but uh, conveys wonderful thoughts through his poems. Uh, he was also a poet laureate at one point of time. Uh, today's poem is Laugh and Be Merry. Uh, the poet tells us that human life is very short, so we should enjoy our life while we are here. We are like guests playing our part in this inn called human life. So. When we are here, let us enjoy life. Let us also fight against injustice, but let us live like brothers staying in this inn called the world. Let me ask you a few questions before we start having fun. What, have you ever thought what makes us laugh? When do we generally laugh? For example, when somebody cracks a joke, we laugh, right? What is it that makes us laugh? When do we laugh? What makes us laugh? When do we laugh? Smile and answer. It's not a serious question. We laugh when we are happy. We laugh when we are happy. Let's list some words of happiness here. Can you give me some words? Mirth, ma'am. Okay, mirth. Any other word? Arpita. Joy. Joy, very good. Vengatumna. Pleasure. Pleasure, okay, very good. Fun. Fun, very good. There are so many occasions on which uh, we are happy, right? Why should we be happy? Let me ask you on that question. Because only then we can enjoy life. Okay, very interesting. Um, when are we happy? When do we laugh? We laugh when we're happy, when we have a lot of fun in life, when we are uh, joyful, we laugh. Why should we laugh? Why should we be happy? Uh, what did you say, Peter? To enjoy life. To enjoy life. Why, when laugh and why laugh? In other words, when are we happy? Why should we be happy? To enjoy life. That's a very interesting answer. Anybody else? To get rid of our tension. Exactly, very good. To get rid of tension. Any other answer? One more answer? We should laugh in life and not cry in life or weep in life because we are here to enjoy life. We are here to forget about our tensions. And why should we laugh and be happy in life? Because we are here to enjoy life. We are not here to feel sad about life, right? This is what we think life is all about. What is life all about? Is it all about tears? Is it all about tensions? It's for joy. Very good. It's for joy. It's, it's meant to be enjoyed. Right? Let's see what the poet says today. Let's look at a poem called uh, Laugh and Be Merry. You all have the poem with you, right? Laugh and be merry. Who is the uh, poet? John Macefield. John Macefield has written many poems, collections of poems, and he was also the poet laureate at one point of time, right? Let's look at the title, Laugh and Be Merry. We all understand laugh, right? And we just now discussed when we laugh and why we laugh. What is merry? Happy, cheerful, yeah, another word. Being happy, 
laugh and be happy, be cheerful. Right, let's look at the poem. What do you do when Arpita is reading the poem? Listen to her and also notice how uh, words are pronounced. Okay. Also, uh, try to underline any words that you find difficult to understand if there are any. And then we'll see what, what sense we can make of them as we go along the poem. Read uh, the poem aloud, Arpita. Laugh and be merry. Laugh and be merry. Remember, better the world with a song. Better the world with a blow in the teeth of a wrong. Laugh, for the time is brief, a thread the length of a span. Laugh and be proud to belong to the old proud pageant of man. The old proud pageant of man. Let's take the first line, laugh and be merry. The title of the poem is Laugh and be merry. The poet again begins the poem with the same words. Why does he do it? This is pretty clear to us, right? Laugh and be merry, always keep laughing, that is enjoy life and be happy in life. That's what he's telling us. But why does the poet again start this poem with, this, with these same words? Uh, what is the poet doing? Laugh and be merry, the title. Again, the first line, he says laugh and be merry. What is he doing? He is repeating. When do we generally repeat? When we want to make a point more clear. Okay, when we want to make a point, when we want to emphasize on something, uh, we repeat. Don't forget, you have to get up at 6 o'clock if you want to catch your train by 7 o'clock. Don't forget, don't we remind ourselves, don't we keep reminding ourselves? The poet is repeating because he wants to remind us. Okay, he wants to make a point, as Arpita rightly said. He is making a point. What is the point that he is making? What is the point that he is making? Be happy. This needs a lot of reinforcement because we go back to what we said a, little, a couple of minutes ago. We have lots of tensions. Uh, what tensions can students have, I wonder all the time. We have lots of tensions. We have to complete the syllabus. We will have to correct the scripts. We will have to answer the principles. So many tensions in us. And we have a family. We have children. What tensions can you have? Okay, assignments, exams, and um, meeting friends and parents not allowing you to meet friends. Lots of lots of tensions for you people at this age, okay? Though our tensions and your tensions are very different, but everybody has tensions. If you don't have tensions, we create tensions. We are very good at that. So the poet tells us that life is not for us to waste in tensions. Life is for us to be happy and enjoy. That's why he repeats, laugh and be merry. Remember, what is he telling us? Better the world with a song. There's a lot of message here. What is better? What's the meaning of better? The general meaning of better, how we understand, how do we understand this word better? Okay, to be good, to be more good, if at all we can say that, more good than something else, in comparison. For example, this movie is better than that movie, or this book is better than that book. Being, having more of a good quality in comparison to something else. What is the general way in which we use the word better? We use it in comparisons, right? We say that this book is, this novel is better than that novel. But let's look at the use of this word here. Better the world with a song. Better. He's telling us. He's ta in fact, he's addressing us, all of us readers. The poet is addressing the readers. Better the world. For, for example, look at another sentence construction. I'm addressing you as a teacher. Work hard. What is work there? What part of speech is work there? It's a verb, right? Now, in the same way, better the world. What part of speech is better here in the context of the poem? It's a verb. What could be the meaning of this word? Better the world? Better the world with a song, that too. Better? How is the world? Generally, supposing I ask you, um, how is the world today? What answer will you give me? Will you say that the world is so fine and nice and happy? What will you say? It's a bad, it's a bad, mad, sad world, ma'am. So many problems, so many tensions. So the world is not in a good condition. So what do we, what do we have to do? We have to better the world. What is it, what is it that is wrong with the world? Give me two, three, two, three phrases. Um, Tasleem, what's wrong with the world? Generally, look at society. What's wrong with our society? 
everyone is fighting for their own uh, individual or what are come what are they they are fighting okay. okay there there is lot of unhappiness unhappiness lot right. of restlessness right uh, people generally are fighting with each other there's a lot of general unrest in the world right what else is wrong with the world what else is wrong with our society what are some of the some of the some of the worm that are eating our society world is full of callers okay so and uh, it's full of tensions it's full of tensions there is lot of corruption in the world there's lot of injustice in the world there's a lot of unhappiness in the world there's a lot of restlessness in the world so all in all this is a bad mad sad world that's the fact in spite of the world being such a bad place to live in it comes with its own um, share of unhappiness there is there are so many problems in this world there is corruption there is unemployment there is population explosion there is not enough food for everybody so many problems so what do we do as parts of as a part of this society it's our responsibility to better, better. meaning what to what do we have to do to exactly to improve the world improve the world why should you improve the basic the underlying message here is if you want to be happy you should ensure that others are also happy because we cannot be happy in a world which is ridden with problems and unhappiness so if you want to be happy it's our responsibility it's your responsibility to improve the world when does this idea of improvement come in when something is not so good not up to the mark we need to improve the situation so improve the world take the responsibility why should we improve the world why should we improve the world we want to be happy yeah because i want to be happy i want everybody else also to be happy we should improve the world because the world is right now not very good not a very happy place to live in so we need to improve the world how do we go about improving the world so better to improve the world with happiness okay so don't curse the world yeah it is a bad world it's a mad what do you do about it there's no point in moping around there's no point in complaining against the injustice that is there in the world so if you want to be happy in this mad sad bad world you have a responsibility what is the responsibility better the world with a song with a song improve the world with with what 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 is with a song here mean does it mean keep singing all the time what does it mean does it mean literally what it say with a song what does with a song mean here with happiness keep singing keep being happy and improve the world don't be bitter about the world yeah there is injustice in this world and yet keep smiling in the midst of troubles and problems uh, so what should we be in life let's look at the first line again laugh and be merry, merry. why should we be merry remember remember what does remember mean actually do not forget. forget if at all we can have this word in english the mantra the mantra of the motto of my life what is the motto you all know what is the motto what's the motto it is something that you go about in your life yeah it's it's the guiding, guiding principle, principle of your life let us say what is my motto in life do not forget something what is that what is it that that you do not all capitals remember do not forget do not forget to call me do not forget to get up in the morning do not forget to be happy okay to laugh and be happy do not forget that's why he says remember do not forget do not forget what better the world with a song what does it mean um improve the world with happiness yeah improve the world with happiness there is sadness in this world and yet learn to be happy in this sad world but do not sit back and relax if you are happy what should you do what should you do to improve the world you should ensure that others are happy too you should ensure that others are happy and also he suggests something else be happy ensure others happiness for you to do this there is a formula there's a way in which we go about doing let's look at the second line uh, somebody please re read the second line for me better the world with the blow in the teeth of a wrong yeah 
what does he say in the uh, in the first line better the world what did we say better was improve okay he says improve the world he is also telling us i tell you read this book carefully now the next question would be how do i read carefully what do you mean carefully okay how do you improve the world you are telling us fine the poet tells us that improve the world improve the world with a lot of happiness but how do you go about improving the world better the world with a blow in the teeth of a wrong what do we understand by a blow hit something hard right what is blow he gave me a nice blow hit somebody hard okay better the world with a blow in the teeth of a wrong you have to hit meaning you have to fight okay fight when do you fight in the teeth of a wrong what does in the teeth of a wrong mean in the teeth of a wrong what does it mean okay you don't have to give me the literal meaning um guess from the context what is he saying he's saying improve the world it's our responsibility to improve the world because if you want to be happy we should ensure that others are also happy now now the next question that we would ask him is how would you improve the world how do you improve the world fight he says it's not only always happiness that's there in the world sometimes you'll have to stand up and fight fight for what fight for your happiness. fight for your happiness. rights fight against wrong, wrong things fight against corruption fight against injustice we have listed a few wrong things in the society we said that there's a lot of corruption there's a lot of uh, unrest there's a lot of um a lot of violence etc etc so how do you better this fight stand up and fight how do you improve fight fight for and against fight for what fight for justice fight for your rights even the bible says ask and thou shalt be given if you don't ask nothing will be given to you so fight for your rights and also stand up and fight against against injustice. injustice okay so in the teeth of a wrong what does in the teeth of a wrong mean on occasions of in the context of injustice when there are wrong things happening in society do not sit back and relax and enjoy have, do not have this attitude of serves you right kind of an attitude okay if you are happy if you are unhappy i am very happy let's not have that let us think that let us really feel for the feel and fight for the happiness of the others because when there is injustice can we be happy injustice is not directly happening to you today but tomorrow it might happen to you if i am suffering out of somebody's wrong wrong doing then tomorrow you might be the target of that somebody so if you stand up and fight today tomorrow you will avoid being having to experience the same kind of unhappiness so improve the world fight be happy but also learn to fight actually there is a link between these two can you see the link in order to be happy we need to fight exactly in order to be happy sometimes you need to fight right. fight for what you deserve what you righteously deserve and fight also against injustice let's go to the third line um can somebody read the third line please love for the time is brief mm -hmm. a thread the length of a span yes love for the time is brief a thread the length of a span very interesting uh, remember uh, some time ago we we asked ourselves a question why should we be happy come on in life because life is too short we said that why should we love we asked ourselves that question and the poet is giving us answers why should you laugh what is there to laugh in this world it's full of tensions worries there is that there's nothing that is cheerful and joyful about this world that you are asking me to laugh why should you laugh my friend it's a bad world there's a lot of injustice fight against that injustice laugh for what does for here mean supposing somebody asks you why immediate answer would be because why because they go together always because the 
time is brief. What is the time that is being brief here? What does time refer to here? Span of human life. Life is brief. In human life, you don't have a rehearsal. You cannot say, no, no, I didn't play this part very well, so please uh, allow, me to, allow me to play it again. Sorry, no rehearsals allowed. So life is very brief. What's the span of life of uh, today's modern man? Around 60, ma'am. 60 years, you want to die, Sudhams? What's the maximum? Nine. Since we are um, very fond of 100, let's, let's say that the span of man's life is, let's say, 100 years. Okay? And what's the length of this life? The thread, the length of a span. Life is compared to a small thread. What's a span? Any idea? Span? Little time. Yeah, little time, but uh, generally span is from the tip of your thumb to the little finger. Okay, let's see how much it will be. This much, about nine inches, that's all. Okay, such a brief span of life. Life is compared to a very short thread here. Okay, how big is this thread? Very short. And if you hold it like this, it might break. If you pull it a little, it might break at any point. It might break here, it might break here. If you are lucky, it might break here. It might not break at all. But there's no guarantee. It will anyway break. So why should we be happy? Because life is brief. Laugh and be proud to belong to the old proud pageant of man. He's giving us more than one reason to be happy. Why should you be happy? Because life is very brief. Also, laugh and be proud. Not only laugh, but also be proud. proud. Why should we be proud? What's, uh, what's such a matter of pride in being a human being and being alive? Being alive itself is a reason to celebrate, I, I feel sometimes. Because how many of us have the opportunity to enjoy life. How many of us, if we're not alive, can we watch a wonderful movie like uh, Jod Joda Akbar, whatever the story may be, by this beautiful lady called Aishwarya Roy? Can we enjoy the fragrance of a lovely flower? Can we feel the softness of a blade of grass if we're not alive? Can this wood, this block of wood, appreciate the beauty of Aishwarya Roy? Okay. So why does, what does he say? And be proud. Be proud to belong to what? To the old pageant of man. What's pageant? What's pageant? What's, what's the pronunciation? Pageant. Pageant. Right. Um, what is the meaning? Pageant is a parade, an elaborate parade, a wonderful display. What is being displayed here? For once, go back to human history and look at the different stage, the milestones in the development of, hum of a human being. Were we what we are today some time ago, some years ago? The Stone Age man, where did he live? He lived in caves and ate raw flesh. And from where to where, oh my goodness, amazing, mind-blowing development of the species called the human beings. And aren't we proud to belong to this race? This wonderful race, this wonderful creation of God who has so many achievements, countless achievements. There was an Einstein in us. There's a there was a Mother Teresa in us. There is still an Abdul Kalam in us. Right? So why should we be proud? Because we have a amazing history. an amazing history of development. Right? Go back to the Stone Age man and compare the Stone Age man to the modern man, the us today. Mind-blowing difference. Okay, so we are all so proud to be happy and a reason to celebrate. In fact, the, the fact that we are alive is reason enough for us to celebrate and be happy. You don't have to say that, okay, I'll be happy if I get first rank or I'll be happy if I get 100 out of 100 in my mathematics. No, the fact that you are alive and here sitting in this class is reason enough for us all, for us all to be happy. So you also be happy but also be proud. Why should you be proud? Because we belong to human race. Yeah, we belong to this wonderful race called the human beings, this wonderful species called the human beings. That itself is a great reason for us to celebrate. We are not like a frog, which doesn't know what the world is like. For the frog, the well itself is its entire universe. The frog doesn't know the beautiful painting by Picasso. 
but we can appreciate it. So let us be proud. Let's go to the second stanza. Uh, laugh and be merry. Remember, in olden time, God made heaven and earth for joy he took in a rhyme. He's telling us again, why should you be happy? So many reasons. One, because life is brief. We belong to the human race. Remember, laugh and be merry. Remember, in olden time, God made heaven and earth for joy he took in a rhyme. What's rhyme here? Rhyme? A song. Okay. God was singing one day. Okay. When do we sing? We just now said that we sing when we are happy. Right? God, how was God when he created this world? Was he sitting very unhappily, sadness written all over his face. Oh my God, I have to create this world now. How was he when he created this world? He was very happy. And this world emerged out of God's happiness. When something is created when you are happy, that something also should be happy. Right? Okay. Generally, we say that. Um, whom do we resemble? Uh, my father, I think. Okay. To Your father? An extent. Okay, to an extent. Your parents. Generally, sir, uh, we must have heard people saying, oh, you're just like your father. The same way of uh, keeping the hand like this, the same way of responding. You resemble your maker, your father. How is God? Happy. happy. Always happy. Have you ever heard, uh, seen pictures of God when he was very sad and weeping? God himself is an embodiment of happiness. He's a personification of happiness. If we are God's children, by definition, we have to be happy, naturally. You have to resemble your maker. When the maker is happy, the child also has to be happy. Right? So, how was God when he created this world? How was God when he created this world? He was, happy. he was singing a song. My goodness, he was so happy. He created this world out of joy and not out of unhappiness or bitterness. 